Hello guys and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Um hang on, Kerbal Space Wait what? Is that Duna? Hang on. Kerbal Space No, this is Simple Rockets too. What? Um So yeah, yeah guys, we are in Simple Rockets 2, obviously, but we're checking out the Kerbal system here, which is pretty cool little mod that you can download from the website. I did not realise that the system packs, you could actually change the, the galaxy view kind of thing, like the skybox. That is amazing. I, one of the guys that's actually on my Discord made this, and I think it's absolutely unbelievable, and it is just cool so i thought we'd check this out in a couple of videos i thought it's a nice little thing so i downloaded some kel's kel aerospace's kerbal space program rockets and i don't know why i didn't spawn on the launch pad but we'll not worry about that we also have a nav ball now so that is a good start so we'll get into orbit here shall we the performance of this rocket seems to be non-existent so that's a great start we'll get come on i wish we could move this window you know the this whole target thing i wish we could really i really wish we could move it <laughs> it gets in the way so much i ah, will put that down there actually and lock that in okay yeah anyway i'm fucking too much let's go and hopefully this rocket has enough fuel yes it seems to have enough fuel oops we're on our second stage. I don't think this is going to get very far. It is not going to get very far indeed. Oh my god. Let's please. Yeah. And we're already out of fuel. So that was a good start. <laughs> this, the separator didn't work. Right. So let's get out of Kerbal Space Program Roberts. Oops. Why are we not starting on 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 the launch pad? Yeah, we're not starting on the launch pad for some reason. I don't know why. So Right, so what I've done, I've just downloaded a little um landing gear. A little rover to try and get over to the actual landing pad. Doesn't seem to be working. Um, it's paused, that's why. Okay, okay. I understand now. No, let's, let's hide that. Landing gear, we want the landing gear out. What's the... Turn? Can you not turn? Um. What? <laughs> right, so I've just spawned in the cyber truck to try and get over to the launch pad. So it actually set a launch location that we don't die from every time we launch a craft. I don't know if that's because this is beta, beta or because something with the system files being a bit off. I don't know, but we shall now stop that there. Get a bit more central. Okay, stop. Stop. And then we shall see if the location has launch pad one. There we go. Right, I've just remembered this code on this rocket as well. I don't know how well it's going to work with a different planet. But it's going to be a good test for it, I guess. Should we just give it a go? Let's give it a go. See what happens here. 
<laughs> this might be a total failure, but you know, these things are worth testing. And I see we test this. So we'll keep the nav ball up here and we'll get our little flight window up. For good precautions. I mean, we should just pilot, took the code off and pilot this ourselves, but it might be cool if it actually lands on Kerbin on its own. So, you know, these things might turn out okay. We need some satellites on Kerbin. I do believe we need some satellites. Whatever, whenever you start a new save, you know, satellites are key. But we might even be able to take them to the moon. Maybe. Look at the skybox. The skybox is so much better than the default one. Obviously, because it's a Kerbin Space Program one, and it, it's a lot. Nicer to look at. The default one's a bit dark and more miserable. At least this one has kind of the Milky Way look to it. Look at that big star over there. That is a star, isn't it? Not a planet. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> it's part of the skybox. Whoops, let's get this. It's kind of weird, my view seems messed up. It seems different. Because it's a different... I don't know. My view seems messed up. There we go. It's staged that. I don't know if that should be... Oh, God. Oh, my... Goodness. Um, I don't think that stage is gonna survive <laughs> what let's see what happens with that later on goodbye and good luck you're going the wrong way that's it turn around don't know what the other one is doing let's see the gonna land where the original land launch site is oh A land, any landing is a good landing though, so there we go, it's, it's doing a burn, it's facing the right direction, that's always a positive. Uh, should we de de deploy the fairing? I don't know. I don't know what the atmosphere is on Kerbin. I forgot, it's been such a long time. I think it's 60, 60 kilometers, isn't it? I think so. Let's drop the fairing anyway, see if we it. Look at them, lovely Starlink satellites. I think there's um, about 184, 84. I thought it was 100, but not. It's 84. <laughs> you should, no, you're not boosting back. You're landing. That's what you're doing. Can we fast forward? No, nope, we can't time warp. Maybe we should just scrap off the booster and p pretend it never landed. So I think this stage is a little bit broken. Let's just go and fly this. <laughs> Forget the event land in the booster. Right, here we go. Unpause. Waiting for final burn. We are in a good orbit. Not much fuel left. How much fuel left? 1,000 and something. Is there fuel in here? No, there's no fuel in there. Of course not. Right, well, let's just deploy the satellites then, shall we? And lit a Kerbin. Or should we, should we put a little bit of an inclination in it? Since we've got fuel left. Yeah. 
Let's do that. There we go. We'll lock that in. Do that burn. And that is pretty much good. Right, what we'll do now, we'll start with spin. If at all possible. Oh, we don't have RCS, do we? No, we do not. Right, okay. Can you spin at all? Do you have any? No, you don't have. Right, let's go for... There we go. 84 tiny satellites around Kerbin. <laughs> we'll go retrograde. Retro. Is it gonna. Oh, oh. What? Um. I think we just broke physics. We've broke time warp. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, don't think the game knows what to do at this point. Let's try switching. Oh my god! Wow! I literally went down to one FPS while everything loaded in there. That is insane. Let's have a look at how this looks. That is looking pretty cool. And if we do a time warp now. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's do a burn. That's the last of the fuel. And we're going to crash down. Are we going to load into the satellites? No, we're not. We're not going to load into the sal. Oh, yes, we are. Stop. Slow down. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing the satellites have loaded in. Where are they? Where are they? They are above. What we'll do is, we'll take control of one of them, prepare for the lag. <laughs> there we go. Right, now let's... What we'll do is... Whoa! <laughs> Hang on, let's click on... Let's click on Kerbin. Um, click on Kerbin. Click, click. Okay, slow down. Click on Kerbin. Let's spread them out. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm breaking the game. Wait, let's turn on the orbit lines. Are you ready for this? Oh my god. That is ins That is like putting rings around the planet. <laughs> that is awesome. Right guys, if you did like this one, then please do... Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.